I don't have any profit. It's only a bag, and I've searched for it. You find that's the most new bag you can find. Maybe I lost it. Oh, please, can you give me a minute? Let me just go in and get to your name. Try to be fast. I will. It's not enough. Please, mama. Why are you standing here looking at me like this? Inside! Huh? I beg you, inside! Hey. Where is he? I left him outside. I don't have any money to pay him. All my plans today failed. <laughs> is that why you're shaking? Eh? Why won't I shake? You don't need to bother yourself. We shall treat his case as usual. You know what I mean? Hmm? Chill. Just go in and there. Uh, mm hmm. Yes. No, you don't bother yourself. Okay. Fine. That lady will just enter here now. Go inside there. Tell us how they wait for her here. She never pay me. Eh, tell us how they wait for her here now. No cross here. I better go tell her job. He could be very stupid and act foolish. Yeah, support it, support it. No, and I want you to get this into your empty skull. If you open your mouth and say anything to that man, I will spill red pepper into your eyes. Do you hear me? I hear you. Now, return to your duty post and open the gate for me. Now me they they ask that kind of question, eh? Which guy which guy talk up cop that one now? You tell me something at that side they wait for you make cop bring money. Still they ask me say who are they look for? Which guy part of that one now? What can I do for you? I won't collect my money. Give my money make a make a the money. Why are they privileged? Money. Give my money make a come up for here. Say I don't pay for that one. Just give my money make a come up. You must be out of your mind. Are you stupid? Me? Owe you money? I don't understand what this stupid man is talking about. Bro, what is the matter? I said, what is the matter? Now my money I won't collect. I want to collect my money. Money? Yes. Money for what? Yes. See, if no be you, now you. We tell me to make a day outside here. Wait for me because you can't bring my money. And now you, now you. So make me bring my money, come make her go. Hey, this is strange. It is not me. And it's not me either. You are out of your mind. And I've come in here to make a false claim. Supported. Me, make a false claim. You can send that money now. Now you go give my money. You must give that 2000 there now. You must give You must give that money now. You must be really out of your mind though. Me? Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm going to pay you 2,000 naira. You don't get out of this company. I will call the police. Now, nah, you don't go do anything. Eh? You don't do anything. You want my money, they tell me, say, they don't pay your salary. You go pay my money today. You must give my money. See this one, no. Uh, hello, you're, you're, you're I'm asking you with respect, Dr. James. Alright. Uh, it's not a joke. Respect us. Uh, please, I'm going to your mind. Why did you talk about this? Shut me. Why did you talk about this? It's not my company. It's a church, no. I'm 
He has paid the balance, 750,000 naira. Yes, he said he's ready for the next consignment. Yes, sir, I'm, I, I have the check with me. Oh, okay. I'll do that right away, sir. All right, thank you. What happened? I've been waiting for you. Hmm? I'm so sorry. I went to pay for the electricity bill and I wasted some time there. Sorry for the inconveniences. The pastor has already approved our money for our transportation and welfare. So please make yourself available very early. We leave at least by 8 o'clock so that we'll have time to visit as many hospitals as we can. No problem. By special grace of God, I will be ready before 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I need to head off to the bank now. Okay, that's it. I should pay the check. Sir, I, we are from a church. We go around to evangelize to people, especially we go to hospitals to pray for patients and share the word of God with them. So we need your consent to meet with your patients and pray with them and also share the word of light with them. Okay. And uh, which of the churches do you represent? Power from Heaven Assembly, sir. Oh, Paul from Heaven Assembly. Yes, sir. I think I know that church. Excuse me. Um, Rita, you will take them to the ward. Oh, is there any other thing you want me to do for Absolutely you? Absolutely not, sir. We just want your consent. Just to share the word of light with them and pray, pray with them as well. Is that okay? Go with her. Thank you very much, sir. Thank God you, bless sir. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, 
brother, my sister, good morning. We are from the Power from Heaven Assembly. We have come to share the Word of God with you and also pray with you. So, um, how are you doing, my brother? I am good, too, brother. Thank you. That is the will of God for you, for you to be in good health, even as your soul prospered. Because he said that he sent his son to die for our sins, and he was hung on that cross because he paid the price for us. And this, the chastisement of our peace was put upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. So we have come to pray with you today to receive the healing power of Jesus Christ. Did you say those ladies have visited the hospital for prayers before? Yes, Doctor. Members of the church normally visit hospitals occasionally for prayer. And I must say they have visited here twice. Okay, let me go and see the pharmacist. He called and he's in his office. Please keep your eyes on that lady that has only brought out of the theatre. Okay? It's very important to be in her room when she's home. Very, very important. the power to heal every sickness. Mm -hmm. Not some. Sister, not some. Brother, not some. Every sickness. All you have to do is trust and believe in Him mm -hmm. and you will receive your healing. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. We want you to understand that the healing power of Jesus changed not. Just like the Bible describes Jesus, that He is our God who changed not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if He has decreed healing for you in the Bible, it is just left for you and I to claim it and receive it in the name of Jesus. He spoke to His prophet in the book of Jeremiah. He asked him, He said, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Brother, sister, I have come to tell you today that there is nothing too hard for God to do. If only you would believe and trust in Him. There is nothing to have for no sickness, no disease, no situation, nothing under the face of the earth is too hard for God to do. If you decide to follow Him today and accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior, God will do wonders in your life. There is nothing, there is nothing too hard for Him to do. Today, we have come to show you that there is a God that answered by fire. Yes, David spoke about the healing power of God. The ultimate healing power of God in Psalm 107 verse 20 when he said he sent his word and he healed us and he did not only heal us he delivered us from our afflictions from every sickness from every disease oh all you have to do is believe in that same God. Yes. If only you believe in that same God, you will receive your healing. Amen. Sister, brother, open your heart to Him. Amen. He even said in His word that if only we have faith as little as mustard seed, yes. we can tell this mountain to move from here and go somewhere else. Amen. You can tell this sickness to live and it will live. Amen. All you need to do is believe in that God Amen. and you will be healed. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Thank you. We are going to pray together but before we do that i don't know if um you have given your life to christ but if you have not we will pray repeat these words after me father in the name of jesus i come to you today as a sinner i ask oh lord that you cleanse me anew with your blood the precious blood of your son that was shed on the cross of calvary I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. I denounce my old ways and pledge my life to you as your child. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Now we are going to pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord God, because you are God. Besides you, there is no other. 
You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who knew us even before we were born. Father, we come today to you as your children. We come under the auspices of the anointing. Father, we ask today that your blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary be made available today for our healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask, oh God, that as your children, therefore we are partakers of the divine nature. Whereas the divine nature knows no illness, we decree and declare that from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, Father, we are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sickness from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, we ask you in the name of Jesus Amen. to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. The temple which you are, you have no place here in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree healing is our portion. Amen. Divine health is our portion. Amen. Prosperity is our portion. Amen. Everything good is our portion. Amen. Every sickness in the name of Jesus, I command you, take your bow. Take your bow. At the mention of the name of Jesus, you will bow. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name forevermore, because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Besides you, Father, is no other. Father, we thank you for the healing power that you have bestowed upon us today. We ask, O oh Lord God, that the, at the end of it all, the glory will be ascribed unto your name, Amen. and the shame will be for the devil. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for us prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brother, my sister, I want you to believe in your heart, to know inside of you that God we heal you. My brother, my sister, I want you to believe in God. He is the ultimate God. All the other ones are fake gods. Trust me. He lives inside of you. Now that you have given your life to Christ, He is inside of you. So you can talk to Him. And we urge you to pray always and read your Bible always to show yourself approved. The anointing will never cease in your life. Amen. Let us leave now. We have other patients to attend to. Yes. And we pray that in the light of what you have received today, you will move forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Someone has tampered with the soup. Someone has tampered with my soup. Mark, 
please, please, please. I don't want you. <laughs> Just allow me to rest. You don't want my trouble. Yet you went to my pot of soup to steal. Allow you to rest what? Are you the one that stole the meat from my, from my pot of soup? Are you crazy or something? Eh? You're a very stupid man. Onako. Onako. Watch your tongue. Did the soup pot tell you that uh, somebody came to eat? What kind of stupid question is that? And what kind of useless and stupid answer do you want from me? Oh, now you've confirmed it. You've confirmed that you were the one that stole the two pieces of meat from my pot. You better go. I left you alone in this house and there's nobody else that has been here but you. Stop insulting me. I have taken enough of your insult in this house. Stop it. Me? Don't push me. Push you to where? I am insulting you. At least you've admitted you're the one. This morning I counted the pieces of meat in my pot. I had eight pieces of meat. And now I'm back. I have only six pieces. And the soup has gone bad. Besides, all my children left this morning and no one has been home since then except you! So, it has come to taking census of meat in this house. Why would I take census? When I know I have a rat in the house. Where is the rat? You're asking. You should know who the rat is. If you're not there, man, let me write. Come on, be a madam. No, no, what is what? What is what? Is it not your father? On your realm? Stealing from my pot of soup. Onako. Yes? Onako. Yes? I say, let that your head split into two. Okay. Yes. Please, come and Who stole your two meat and sawed your soup? You! By the way, when last did you put meat in my soup? Mama, what is Am I not qualified to eat meat in this house? Have you brought money for the meat and you, you didn't get it? In Apu is bad. Oh, okay, Pufa. In Cape of Follow. Onako. Ah. Onako. I'm glad you're calling me, me, me your, 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 your name. Be very careful. Don't, do. Don't push me. Don't do. Be very, very careful, Onako. Papa, it's okay. Take it easy. Mama, what's the problem? No, no, one is your father. He's a thief. How would it sound when people hear that? I look at this one. If that is the problem, then let, let me give you money to make another pot of soup. That, that might solve the problem. Many people quarrel in this house. I don't like it. I mean, five thousand naira. Yes. I'm not gonna last long. Papa, take put this one in your pocket. Why are you giving? Please don't use it on hot drinks. So. Well, you know that is exactly daughter. what you would do. My daughter, thank you very much. Let me go and see a friend. Leave this useless woman alone here. <clears throat> My daughter, let me go and see a friend. Eh? I will. I will. It's just to pass the information. What is the problem? But it's not fair now. I can't take eight pieces of meat. What can you do? Is it, 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 it should people hear of such such a thing? Mama, it's okay. You should learn to ignore some of these things at times. Eh? Oh, I should keep quiet while your father shouts at me. More about not to me to one my or my okay. Please. Um, you know, let me even remind you. For some time now, I've not been using meat to cook in this house. So. Even last night, there was you told me meat was not enough. So I'm sure that's the reason you are quarreling. Oh, so now you're defending your father. Mba, 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 Ajata, you're always defending your father. Mba, he didn't defend here. Okay. Is it because of this five thousand? Never do well. See your money, take it back. Take it now. You don't want to take your money. Your younger sisters will not talk to me the way you're talking to me. Never mm -hmm. five thousand, you well. There's something terrible happening in this house. And I wanted to let you know about it before I take my decision. Now, okay, Mama. Okay. He's a thief. Yeah. Huh? God forbid, Mama. It's a pity God has already allowed it to happen. So, God forbid, it doesn't arise. As I speak to you for today, 
he has already stolen two pieces of meat from the pot. Jesus. <laughs> How could he have done such a thing? A man at his age? Ha, Mama, this is a problem to all of us, so. How? How do you mean? Oh, yes, Mama. Yeah. Mama, if he is a thief, we, his daughters, would be referred to as daughters of a thief. And you, Mama, wife of a thief? God forbid. You mean people will call me wife of a thief because I'm a girl's lawyer? Yes, Mama. Hey! Mama, i But, Mama, He's her father and your husband. We all bear his name for our surname. It's better we keep our mouth shut. Let me tell you, it's better for him to stay in the house than to go outside and steal. They will kill him all. In other words, you're saying that we should not punish him. We should allow him to continue stealing up, yeah? My mama, he should be punished. No, mama. He's wrong in what he did. And there will be punishment for that. Yes. Yes. But um, let's not make it too severe. Instead of making it public, why not we impose embargo on serving him food without meat? Maybe for a week or two weeks. <laughs> You're talking, uh, but one or two weeks is not enough. Oh, Zuro! <laughs> I might consider three weeks to one month. Eh, that's like tampering uh, justice with mercy. Yes, sir. You got that way too. Did I get to know about this debate? <laughs> hey, Aga! Abosa Agata! No one is too close to her father now. Whether he does something wrong or right, she will always support him. So what's the point of telling her? Oh, we found Gwalia. Yeah, come on, come on. We'll talk about the thing with me now. So, okay, so you have decided that we'll place the ember. Yeah. No meat for him yes. mm -hmm. for the next one month. <laughs> and like I said, that's <laughs> tempering <laughs> justice mm -hmm. with mercy. So, I'll eat his meat <laughs> and I'll eat my meat too. Ah! I'll eat my meat too. Mama. You know, my bully is tough. And when I'm not going to go, I'm not going to You want to extend what by one month? Hmm? Partners in crime. Like mother, like daughters. <sighs> I overheard your discussions and the decision you have reached. Unako, you are just crying for two pieces of meat. This time around, even the fish in the soup pot will not be spared. In fact, let me tell you that uh, 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 the soup pot itself will begin to disappear. Huh? Yes! Where's the kind? What do you do? You just balance here and be taking, taking decision in my house. Huh? Papa? Hmm? Hey, mama? Hey, papa? Me also. You see God in the Um, Agatha, I don't know why you're insisting that we should come in into this room. I have this because the sitting room would have just been ideal. And I have my reasons for making it here. Okay, we are here already. I, I decided to do it here because this place is more comfortable. But before we start, can we um, say a short prayer, please? In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for the peace that you are about to bestow upon this family. Father, we ask, O oh Lord God, that as we have this meeting, O oh Heavenly Father, that your understanding that surpasses all will come and dwell with us in the name of Jesus. That we will live in peace and unity in this house, O oh Lord God. That there will be no barrier, that there will be nothing to hinder us from your love in the name of Jesus. Let your peace continually reign in our midst. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Jane, please. 
the reason I called for this meeting is for us to discuss an ongoing issue. And this issue has been going on for a long time and I'm not happy about it. And this issue is none other than the embargo that was placed in this house that will be giving Papa food without meat. It's not good. We need to sort it out. <clears throat> Agatha, if I'd known that was why you invited us for this meeting, I can't read from her. What is your problem? The issue has already been decided on. Voted. Three to one. Oh. So ne there's no going back. The decision has been made and they took a Mama, this has nothing to do with who voted for who and who didn't vote for who. There's no electoral process ongoing here. We need to sort this thing out so that we will live in peace and harmony in this house. Okay, Nedi. How will we be giving Papa food without me? Don't worry, God. It has already been resolved. There is no going back on this issue. Period. Exactly. I'm not respecting such decision. It's tantamount to preaching disunity in this family, which you are preaching against. Okay. Is that how you are? You're supposed to mama in this issue. Before yes. I'm coming. Eh? Is this is this how how you forget things so easily? Have you forgotten how Papa used to used to take care of us in this house? Eh? When everything was rosy, he could do anything for us. Anything we asked for, he did. How he, he even built this house we live in? Eh? Is it because things are now the way they are that you 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 are treating him like a commoner, like a he's the head of this family for crying out loud? You should be joining me to, in begging, Mama. Begging Mama what? The decision is there. It's six time. If any all the English you spoke here was was now one young cook up. So let's leave that matter. And you're saying joining Mama as if I'm a devil. No, Mama, it's not like that. No, like it's not as if no. They should join me begging you so that go begin that draw. Now don't want that good. That was before, was it? Can you find out the nineteen guinea cow? This embargo, no, we find a coma We are not going to lift the embargo. The embargo has to be lifted before you think of serving Papa food with it. Hmm. And God have mercy. I got our weight by my calculation. It remains about uh, a month and a few days. The embargo will be lifted. And Papa will start enjoying his usual food with it. Oh, come on. You people are supporting Mama. Yes. May God have mercy on you. And you too. And May you God too. have mercy on you. And you Mama, too. this thing that, that is happening in this house, it is not good. This is problem. We just pray that let God, let his peace and understanding reign. Because you people have you decided to, to, problem. To, to block it. Uh, you have not got problem. By saying, so you people are supporting Mama, that means Mama is evil. No. 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 Mama, Mama, you need to be forced. No, I can't hear you. Mama, it's not with force. Mama, you cannot do you that with mother. Mama, it's not with force. It's not with force. It's not with force. Not with killing. See, so they, they, Mama, they're, they're making you add more. Mama, 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 no meat for Papa. Mama, 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 Papa, I called you here because I feel this is a safer place for us to have this discussion. Before I left for the office this morning, I had called Mama and my sisters to talk to them concerning what is going on in the house. But all I said to them fell on deaf ears. They all insisting that they will continue with the embargo and nothing will be lifted and all of that. So, Papa, let's not go to that side. I want to ask you a big favor. Please, no matter how high the provocation is from that house, please do not respond. If it, at best, just leave the house when your temper begins to rise, please. I just don't want anything to escalate. Let's just live in peace. I believe this is a wind, is an evil wind, and it will blow over when the time comes because I'm praying seriously about it. I'm going to give you money so that you can buy whatever you need, you can do whatever you want. How much do you have from the one I gave to you the last time? I still have uh, 500 naira left. I'm going to give you some. I just let them be. 
because I'm praying about it and I believe God will answer us. this to what you have already hey. and like I said don't use it on things that are not good for your health especially alcohol at this age you shouldn't be taking alcohol you should be taking water lots of water because of your age please my daughter what could I have done if I don't have a daughter like you I thank you so much. Thank you, Papa. No money made me down to us. God bless you. God bless you, sir. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Papa. You are more than very Like I was telling you, I was so, so sick that my wife was traumatized. She broke down. She was admitted in the same hospital with me. Her bed was next to mine. In a private hospital? Yes. In a private hospital? <sighs> did she eat what you receive? He did, just as like I did. Yes, she was healed, but not instant like mine. What we noticed was that she was responding to treatment after the whole prayers. And then, within three days, we left the hospital together. So, this is wonderful, my love. <laughs> this is really, really wonderful. Did the result of the examination conducted after you were healed prove traces of such illness? Honestly, there was no trace of the illness anymore. Everything went off. Hmm. I'm still surprised. I never believed such thing still exists. I never believed also, but it has happened to me. I now believe it. Like I was telling you, Mine was instant healing. After the prayer, I fell asleep. When I woke up, all the sickness was gone. I was totally healed. Hmm. Honestly, this sounds strange to me. I still can't believe things like this exist. Okay, what about the patients that were still in the same hospital? Same? Did they still receive their own healing? Yes, doctor said total of nine patients got healed the same day. Yes, it was also examined to be tested also, so the doctor confirmed it. That it was a, an act of move. medical explanation. That means that it was something about... This is indeed a miracle. Seriously, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. I just thank God who, the way everything happened. But uh, I, I, I want to tell you something. I have gone to the church for Thanksgiving. But I still want to sow a seed onto the hands of those ladies God used to heal me. Yes. But do you know where to find them? I've made some inquiries and um, I have the addresses.
should have seen the way your father sat by the table with two plates of meat. One plate had chicken, the other one beef. And then he stationed a bottle of malt and a packet of juice by the side. As he was eating this thing, he was dancing, singing, making merry. He just pretended that I wasn't there. On a road while he was eating this thing. If I may woman in it, no naked, naked as a wife. My husband did not even look my way. Mama, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Mama, are you sure? You see, Mama, have I ever lied to you? I see the I said, I am telling you of what I saw. When did he change his brand from beer and palm wine to malt and fruit juice? He says, I'm on journey. How would I know? But that was what he was drinking on that day. But, Mama, are you really sure? Can't you my really sure? Nobody told me about it. I saw it with my two eyes. Mama, Mama, this is serious. Oh, but. Where did he get the money to buy all those things? I'm sure he has not received the pension money. Of course he has not. All your sister got her. Holy white check. Do you know in my very presence, she gave him 2,000 naira. Yeah, and she did not give him more cousin. And I'm sure she must have given him more. Because that thing he was eating cost more than 2,000 naira. I calculate him. I'm an even See, eh? Eh? Honestly. If I do not eat chicken, no matter what, Mama, I must eat chicken today. Mama, I don't think Lizzie and I have money to buy chicken now. No? We are discussing on how to go out and make a hunt for money when you call this. Yes, Mama. No, I, I'm not interested, though. If you want to go out and hunt for money, that's your business. I don't care how you do it, though. All I know is that I want to eat chicken. Tata. Mama, wait. Did you ask anybody to open your shop? My shop? Yes. That's one is not important. What is important is that chicken. Yes, she has, and might have already gotten there. I hope there's no problem. No, not really, but something just crossed my mind. There's something I would have asked her to buy. And uh, what is it? Oh, beef. Before we feed, that would be enough for us in this house. Mama, hello. And then guess what? I am going to change my brand of drink from star to stout. Then I will combine it with juice, just like your father combined his malt and juice. Yes, star. I am not ready to lose this competition. This contest may lose it. But Mama, this is not a contest. For me, it is a contest. Hey, what do you feel like? I'm content to not go to the market with my uncle. You don't know your sweet sister. She's very smart. She will know what to do. And the drinks we can buy across the world. On a top of a menu, we buy the drinks. And when we have money, we will pay for that one. Eh? Yeah. Uh, I need you to call her and let her know. I would have used my phone, but I don't have the time. So, if I can call her, I can call her. Okay. It's one more. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Mama, how do you do that? Oh, no. Same size, you. Hey. America wonder which one be 
photocopy. Which you want be original? Confusion will go kill somebody. Oh, my baby, my my boy, yo yo. She born in Jima. Oh, my sad question. Now which one be your baby? Now which one chop your money? Obunka, Obunka, Obunya, Obunya. My baby, my my boy, yo yo. She born in Jima. This means work. I will allow your father. Of course, I don't have a choice. He can smell it. I allow him to see it. Maybe I might be kind enough to allow him to touch it. But I will not let him taste it. Mama, how can you allow him to touch it? So his longer throat will grow longer. <laughs> Mama, there is bad news. Our plan has been thwarted. How? Papa is not in the house. I called him to find out where he is. He told me that he traveled to the village. I won't be coming back today. Hi. Who came with Omo? Eh? So all our plans, that's it. Yes, ma'am. I was looking forward to seeing that man crying and feeling frustrated when he would have been watching us drinking and eating. Well, what do we do now? Mama, we cannot wait for him. Oh. Okay. We have to go ahead and eat what we are cooking. And plan for him another day. Uh, but Jay, remember, Mama said if she doesn't eat the food in presence of Papa, in presence of Papa, she will fall sick. Uh -uh. So Mama, what do you do? Mama, let me tell you something. We will suspend that issue of falling sick. <laughs> Mama. For now, we will enjoy ah, the food. Mama, yes, now, mama. and prepare for your father another day, just like your sister said. Okay. Go and check it. Why are you please leave me here? Yeah, go to go. No stealing in the kitchen, no. No stealing. What kind of glass are you making? I don't want us to treat one another 
as enemies in this house. I want us to live in peace. Just like you and Papa now. I want both of you to live just the way the Bible has described your union. That the man will cling unto his wife and the two shall become one flesh. One flesh? Give me give, give a cup. I, Omaku, the lioness, the daughter of Ezo Dumud, leave us, Guinea, please. It's not possible. That drunk, I got the nature's a good fetch. It's okay, Mama, it's all right. But let me just um, go to the matter I want to discuss with you. I have been praying for a very long time, and I believe God has answered my prayers because we will live in peace and harmony in this house that has been what has been disturbing me and i just came to tell you that god has answered the prayers and very soon we'll begin to see god's hand in this family there will be no peace in this family until anoka learns to share with his with, with his wife and children let him share with us then there will be peace everything will be all right when when will everything be all right? I don't know when, mm -hmm. but God knows when. Another thing is, I have spoken to Papa, and I'm going to speak to my sisters as well. I want us to go and meet Pastor Robinson for prayer and counseling. He said I should come with everybody. <laughs> if you go, you and your pastor, come and get me. Pastor Robinson, then I fall as, why can't he answer a local name? I don't need his prayer and counseling. When I need prayer and counseling, I know where to go to. It's only your father you think about. You've already told him. He's the only one you care about. That's why you keep giving him money like no man's business. I may also give you 5,000 naira. The 5,000 naira you gave me was to cook for the whole family. My name is 2,000 in Kakamba. Didn't you? Now you have a shop at a cool market. And at every time my salary is paid at the end of the month, I give you 5,000. Oh, in there, cozy. You're now announcing to the whole world that you give me five thousand naira. You can keep your money, oh. I told them no, I like that. You can keep your money. I've heard you, Inugo. When I need peace and counseling, I will go to my own pastor because I was meditating before you entered this room. Just leave me in peace. Let me continue with my meditation. Present. I did hear. You did hear. You're totally messed up. Open the gate for me. Good afternoon. <laughs> so how was the wedding? I hope you people enjoyed yourselves. Yes, Mama. Everything was fine. There was enough food and drinks for everyone. It was okay. <laughs> Before we go, there should be enough food and drinks for people. Did they invite people to stop? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, by the way, did they have some good uh, personalities at the wedding? Yes, Mama. There were many civil servants and businessmen alike. Importers and exporters, Mama. In fact, the hall was filled to the capacity and there was overflow. Are you serious? Yes, my wife. Nem. It all been filled to capacity I mean, or anything. Because usually someone invited guests at the one that filled the hall to capacity and caused the overflow. What I'm asking is, were there some important dignitaries and personalities that graced the occasion? I said, Naju, personalities like um, governors, senators, Members of House of Representatives, where they can now. <laughs> Mama, the MC did not mention any such dignities. In fact, none came, none attended. So, wh why are you saying that the wedding was good? I told her. <laughs> <laughs> but you enjoyed it. Hey, that means it's an ordinary wedding you went for. 
It's the kind of wedding we see every day. Every day they come over oh, wedding. You come over and marry. Your own wedding will not be like that. Amen. Yes, so you see your own wedding. Your own must be attended by some serious political dignitaries. Mm -hmm. The creme de la creme of the nation. Hey. Hey. Can I call? Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Let it be to us as we pray. Amen. I have finished the prayer and so shall it be. Amen. Thank you. Hey, by the way, one no one yagata. She came to see me. Uh, she said that her pastor wants to see us if we can follow her to their church. Why? <laughs> the pastor wants us to come for prayer and counseling. I want for. Is it for everybody? It's for everybody. Oh. Uh -huh. That's why I'm telling you now. So you will know the answer you will give her. Me, I've already told her I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what are your more than you? Mama, you don't need to bother yourself. Yeah. When she comes to us, you don't have to stop. You know you don't need to stop. I was on my way to Philadelphia, Amarachi. Uh -huh. I was waiting for Keke, but I think now I will walk. Let me try so that I can. Mama, you need to exercise now. Exercise now. And get ready for that. <laughs> for that wedding I'm talking about. Yes, Mama, you need to go. Yes, go. Yes, I'll see you. Oh, Mama! That's me, oh! Uh, uh, no. You said you've come to look for one of my daughters. Yes. I see. So, when did this happen? Uh, it's two days ago. It's even somebody that saw them that day that directed me on how to locate your house. I see. So, what? I will call out my daughters. Thankfully, they are home. If any of them admits to taking the, the cock from you, I will pay. I will complete the difference. Oh? Okay. Uh, so bad. Um, Agatha! Agi! Ah. Yeah? Good morning, ma. Mama, you called me? Yes. Agi, did you buy any cock from this woman's shade two days ago? No. He did not. Is she the one? No, Mama, she's not the person. If I see the person, I'll recognize her. She's the one who's back up. I can't want you. Agi, call your sisters, Jane and Lizzie. Jane! Jane! Mama, she's the one. Look at her. She's the one that bought the cock. Look at her, look at her, yeah. She's the one. Okay. She's the one that bought the cup. The one that did what? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. They said you came to my shop two days ago and collected two cup without completing your payment. Me? Yes. What you're talking about? Papa, I did not go to your shop looking for buying any cup from your shop. Please, where is your shop? Madam, you going in. If she had been to your shed, I would have known. Because I would have been the one to send her. She did not go to your shop. Besides, she just said that she doesn't know where your shade is. Hey! Shoma. Well. Are you sure of the person you saw? I'm sure she's the one. I just said the truth now. Why are you doing this now? I said the truth. You're the one that put the cock now. Yeah. Who's going on here now? Oh, Goma, no. You don't understand. Shoma, which of them did you say that bought the cup for you? Oh, I don't know. I said, please, I'm sorry, please. Ruby, I'm not very sorry. Mommy, is this person that bought the cup? She's the one that kept her shop and bought the Bought what? Are you out of your senses? Mama, I don't know the I need to embarrass us. Madam, you, you've heard her. This is your daughter. There's something wrong with her. You see her doing man. She doesn't even know what she's saying. I'm sure she must have been the one that sold the cock and spent the money or cooked it and ate it with her boyfriend. You see, I don't know what you're saying. Nonsense. Are you sure she's the one that bought the cock for you? Mommy, mommy, she's the one. Okay, do you know what? If none of them agrees that they bought the cock, then it's both of them. Ah, what is this thing? How can you oh, say cock to both of it's them? It's both of them that bought it, huh? Since you cannot agree that you are the one, and this one is saying she's not the one, then it's both of you now. Oh, if you don't leave it, I will call the police. Like, I call the police. Are you mad? You don't feel that for me. Please, don't beat her for me, okay? Look at this idiot. Sir, I got something for me. You know what?
know what? Carry your 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 mad daughter and take out of my compound now. Una amara nya tala ku kunu na biaba na atwenye ga ku gwa ofu. Let's go. I'm off here. Let's go. 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 let us go Lizzie, Lizzie, Jay, are you going now? Yes, I was just coming from the room and I took a I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. I just wanted to remind both of you of the prayer meeting we have with the pastor by 11 a.m. today. It's a must meet. We it's have to important. meet him. We have looked at it. There's no reason we should attend. Let's go. Why? Your problem is that your thoughts and mind are always obsessed by prayer. That you cannot look inward and see the great opportunity open for you, which you fail to utilize. Which, op which opportunity opened for me? Explain, Biko. Wait. Are you not the one in charge of all the tithes and offerings? Collected from your church every Sunday service? Uh -huh. I am, and what about it? And after collection, you submit you to the same pastor? Of course. Who else am I supposed to submit you to if not the pastor? Agatha, if I were you, I would have made everybody in this family rich than rushing to the pastor to book a prayer for us. Yeah? I don't understand. Wait. Make me understand because I'm not understanding. You want me to put my hand inside God's money, bring it out and give to you. Before uncle. Hey, bam bam bam. This is not a human talk. Because my channel, this is the devil walking through you people. Which God's money? Many people do it. Hmm? Not only the church that needs the money. People like us need the money. Look at our house. Just look. Take a look. Look at the house. Can't you just change the face of this house? You're very wicked. And it's not of the devil. We have spoken our mind, only that you fail to understand. You're very wicked though. Have a nice day. Jesus Christ. My Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you a sinner. I come to you a sinner. I ask you. I ask you. To use your precious blood. To use your precious blood. And wash away my sins. To wash away my sins. Dwell in me richly. Dwell in me richly. Do with me what thy will. Do with me what thy will. Henceforth. Henceforth. I make you my personal Lord. I make you my personal Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For washing away my sins. For washing away my sins. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Amen. It is settled. You are henceforth a child of the Almighty God. You are a son of God. All you need to do is to move in this understanding that you are a son of God. As a child of God, you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very important to you. I want you to move in this spirit. And because you're born again, you will begin to receive the benefits of salvation because you're born anew in Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. You're welcome. There's something that is very important about this. Are you sure you don't partake in any activity that does not give glory to the Almighty God? Yes. Yes, Pastor. But Pastor, what are those activities that do not give glory to God? Let me know them and keep away from them. Oh, they are made bare in the scripture. They are clearly written here. As it is written in the book of Exodus chapter 20 and Galatians chapter 5. 
The Bible may declare that you don't have to murder, you don't have to commit adultery, you will not steal, you will not hate, etc. So, as you begin to study the scripture, you will keep seeing them from Genesis even down to Revelation. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. I will try my best to study the Bible. Yes. But Pastor, let me ask one question. Can it be considered as bowing down to idols or serving them if I sacrifice a cock or a goat to the, to, to the gods of my ancestors? The gods of your ancestors are idols. They are graven images. Your Ugugu, your Ibunu Babi, they are graven images. God does not permit us to do that. Okay. Can I give somebody to do it on my behalf? This is how Christians I know do it. No. Not at all. That's hypocrisy. The Christians who practice that, who do what you just said now, are fake Christians. They are hypocrites. Our Lord Jesus Christ talked so much about them. He said in the scripture that thou shalt not serve two masters at the time. No servant does that. It's either you disobey this and obey this, or disobey this and obey this, and you cannot serve God and man with. Those ones who go behind and give uh, chickens and whatever, to their kinsmen to go and do sacrifice to the idols for them. They are not doing themselves any good thing. They are not. They are serving two masters. Okay. I told you, Papa. There's no way you'll be in Christ and serve God and mammon. It's not possible. You will choose. Either you serve God as or you serve mammon. You can't serve the two at the same time. That's it. I heard him very well, and uh, he has made enough explanations to convince me. With the word of God, you shall conquer. Shall praise. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, how much did you say is the last one for the only way? The only, that size. Uh, it's 600 naira. Ah, Madam, it's still on the high size now. High size? 600 naira? The last price is six hundred dollars. Okay. It's either you're buying it or you're not buying it. Okay, let me pay five hundred. Okay, now bring the bring. My money. I don't have four hundred naira change. I don't have to. You when you come back, I'll take it. Let me get some so that way. I don't want to go to Mother Woman. Alright, I'm ready. That list, I'm going to compile it and I will bring it to you. That's the new members. That is better. I prefer it. Let me then go and see Mrs. Susan, Mother Woman. Yes, okay. I promise you, get that list before Saturday. I will do that. Are you not back? Mama, you is a Okechuku, is a girl. I am looking for Sister Beta. Is she at home? Uh, Margaret, I'm home. Yes. Well, she's back from work, but she went to the church for a service. Can I help you? I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I came to see her for six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Wait, you expect her to sow the seed here or you want her to follow you home to sow the seed? <laughs> uh, well, Ma, it's not that kind of uh, a seed. Uh, I'm talking about a uh, seed of her. <laughs> you should have said so since now. Blue seed offering, then you go to the church and do the offering. <laughs> you put the seed back and all up. 
It's not such a good idea or too dangerous. You will see off you. But I'm mad. How come you feel good? I'm so sorry, but I should be on my way. Let me. I leave. Oh, no. Nah, please sit down. Sit down. Hey, when you will please sit down. You did not explain it very well to me now. I didn't know you wanted to sow a seed, my God. Uh, it's okay, you can sow the seed here. Yeah. Exactly. We'll make sure she gets it. You see, she prayed for me. Yes, actually she prayed for me and uh, a sick bed. I got healed. Yes, so uh, I had already gone to the church for uh, for Thanksgiving, oh. so I decided to come and meet her one on one and give her an offering. She went to the church. <laughs> well, you can drop the offering. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, give it all that one. Well, give it. I give. <laughs> oh, I will do just that. Uh, it's all right. Uh, that's my number. Yeah. She can get me through the okay. She won't call you. So I should be on my way now. Um, but now, what do we offer you? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Maybe next time. Next time. Hey. Right. Same offering. Uh, thanks for the seed offering. <laughs> okay. Mom, this is the second time I'm hearing this. That she can actually pray for people and they get healed. All of us being one family, supposed to have the same kind of gift. At least we go to church like she does. And we can even pray more than her. I could call you, do not pray more than her. Mama, who said you? Agatha prays through the night and Agatha fasts. <laughs> so if you want to possess that kind of gift, you have to be prayerful, very, very. And you need to fast. Mama, I can't do that. Mama, I cannot do it. I know I can't do it. Yeah, but Mama, I need it. We all need it. I think we have made a very costly mistake by not following her to go and see her pastor when he wanted us to come. Perhaps one of us would have gotten the same kind of gift and be praying for sick people as well, getting our gifts, money, everything from them too. Biko, 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 don't make me laugh. Don't allow this when we're 20,000 confuse you, my daughter. This is too small now. Yeah? So now you're seeing yourself as a pastor or what? Yeah, Mama. Anyway, I think that what we have to do now, mm -hmm. since Agatha has refused to bring the tithes and offerings to the house, yes, we'll have to be as sharp and as alert as the cat to see whenever these things will come and we'll just yes. grab it and enjoy it. Okay, like this one, there's no way she would know that he came. Because she doesn't have the man's phone number. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And the man too doesn't have her own. Yeah. And we're not going to tell her. Tell who? Your baba guy said they know that. But that's for the fasting and praying. We invited you to this meeting. So you can explain to us directly. The content of your letter was so shocking. But since you are here in flesh and blood with us, we would like to hear from the horse's mouth. So tell us why you stated in your letter 
that you will not be joining us to offer sacrifices to the gods of our ancestors. And at the same time, by requesting us to come and remove the effigies and the images of our gods, domiciled in Obidibo's family compound for ages, and for which our people offered their yearly sacrifices. Mm. Thank you, my fellow elders and uh, my kinsmen. It is a personal decision based on personal belief. And I still stand by the content of the letter, for I took it willingly. And I beg you, please, bear with me. Anoka. I am afraid that some evil forces are working against you with the aim to eliminate you from the society and destroy you. <laughs> Okonta, you don't know me. No evil force can destroy me. The greater is he that is in me, that he that is in all the evil forces put together. Hmm? Yes. I am the child of the only true and one God. No weapon. Formed, made, carved, or forged against me will prevail. Never. Never. It will never prevail. Eh? Look at what is coming out of his mouth. Didn't that tell you that something is wrong somewhere and with him? Eh? Actually. There must be something wrong. Yes. Eh? Nothing is wrong, Mazu Daja. Mm. I know who I am. Mm. I mean that I am a heavenly candidate dwelling on earth. And because of my nature, I now completely abstain from anything that will not give glory to the Almighty One. Such as... Uh, Huh? Or returning in my house any object that will be used to serve any idol of any type, which is not in accordance with the commandments of God. Um, Anoka, count me out. Anoka, so the long and short of your story is that you still maintain your stand. And I have no regrets. And will forever maintain my ground. We've had you. We've had you. It's all right. It's all right. Um, may the peace of the Lord be unto you, people. They did everything they could to see if I would change my mind. I stood my ground. They were surprised. It was very hard for them to believe what I told them. Hmm. Papa, I am very impressed with the way you responded to them. It, it goes to show that your knowledge for the things of God and God himself is growing every day. When next they come, they will see the evidence that you're clearly part of God's family. I hope so. <laughs> Honestly, now, I hope so. Let us um, go further into the word of God. I want to tell you about God himself as God, then God as in three persons, the tripartite nature of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, which interprets him as God in three persons, as the Holy Trinity. So it is God the Father, one person, God the Son, one person, God the the Holy Spirit, one person. So That's three amazing. in one. That's amazing. Hey. Three persons. Yes. Yet one God. Yes. These uh, three persons, yes. uh, uh, do they include those ones that said uh, are false God, like uh, Ogubu, uh, Ogunio Papa? <laughs> Papa, no. 
those ones are false gods they are not of god and the bible clearly instructs that we should not worship idols we should not worship um graven images but we should worship only god the only true god so that is it Let, let's look at uh, excuse this. me uh, there is something uh, i still don't understand about this uh, holy spirit you address him as person is he really a person <laughs> Yes, he is a person. Let's look at the scripture and it will help us understand what I mean by God, um, the Holy Spirit being a person. John chapter 14 verse 16 to 18. And it says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, that's the Holy Spirit, is the Spirit mm -hmm. of truth as well, whom the world cannot receive, the world as in the unbelievers, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. He is referring to the Holy Spirit as a person because God the Father, God the Son, has had come to the earth to die for our sins. And he was returning to his father because he has fulfilled all um, he has fulfilled scriptures by dying for our sins making us the righteousness of god in christ jesus so the holy spirit is a person whom he left he told his disciples i will not leave you comfortless when he was um, ascending to heaven he says i will not leave you comfortless but i will leave you with the holy spirit who will comfort you so the holy spirit is our guide he's our counselor he's our comforter when we are in trouble, when we need direction, when we need anything, the Holy Spirit who dwells in us, as the Bible says, is there to guide us. He is God's resident person on earth. Mm. Yes. So since the uh, Holy Spirit is resident on earth, yes. it means that one day he will come down to us in this city and preach the gospel <laughs> <laughs> so that i'll have the opportunity to meet him one on one Papa, <laughs> the holy spirit is indwelled in us mm. and remember the bible says that he will send us a comforter who will be with us so that is god's representation here mm. so he is here he's everywhere he's with you he's with me he's everywhere he sees everything god knows everything there's nothing that is hidden from him which then means that he knows what I'm passing through. Huh? What I'm passing does. through in this house, in the hands of that woman that calls herself Onok. Oh, eh? In fact, I will look for him and make my complaints. Papa, hmm? you can only reach him through prayers, searching within yourself, knowing that you are clear, making your um, complaints to him, sharing it with him, then he will lead you around. Enough! Okay. Enough! Oh, yeah. How about this? You've been talking about me. Oh, God, you talk about me. Why can't you keep your peace? And the most painful thing is that you talk about me with that dirty mouth of yours. Keep your peace. And that's for you, Agatha. If you think it's only you and your father that will go to heaven, watch us on that day. Myself, Jane, and uh, uh, Lizzie will, will march forward before you people enter. Mama, please don't be angry. We we're not discussing about who's going to heaven or not. We're just sharing the gospel ah! and reading the scripture. Mm. Reading the scriptures indeed. Reading the scriptures. Let me tell you, if you think you will report me to the Holy Spirit and get away with it, I say, because I will report you to the Holy Ghost. And you know the Holy Ghost is stronger because it comes with fire. Mama, the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit is, is the same person. There's no difference. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit only comes with spirit, but the Holy Ghost fire comes with fire. And that's why people say, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! If you try my nonsense, I give you fire. Onako, you cannot do anything. You're just talking about what you don't know. Where's Zeka? Try you see, I don't keep it Try you see, and that's for you. Trying to teach me that Holy Ghost fire is the same with the Holy Spirit is a lie. I will go and discuss it with my spiritual director. 
Whatever it tells me, is what I take. Um, so baby, when am I going to see you again? Um, month end. Month end? Uh, come on, month end is not a date. Okay. Um, okay, 25th. June 25th, June 25th yes. Okay, June 25th. Then I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the 25th, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. About this money. Eh? Nana, what is good about this money? Where are you coming from? You did not tell anybody you will spend the night outside. Where are you coming from? Mama, I'm sorry. I never knew I was going to spend the night outside. Did you hear yourself? Mama, I'm sorry. I never knew I was going to spend the night outside. What happened? Where are you coming from, Nana? I went to visit my friend this morning. I forgot to tell that she was going to have a baby party yesterday. I'm so sorry, and I decided to spend some time with her. So when I'm close from work, I want to see her. I never knew the party was going to last the midnight. It's okay, but please, eh? in case such a thing happens any other day, call us on phone. If you cannot call your father, you call me now. We called your number several and it was still not available. That was when all of us got worried. Eh, Pikono? So, how was the ceremony? So, very, very wonderful. <laughs> so, Prince Papa, you see? Hey, he just went out. I'm also on my way to the market. Look for something and eat, eh? I'm coming back. I'm gonna buy me something. Oh, I will.
in their numbers. And those that were sick testified to us that they received miraculous healings. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God is so quick. It is powerful. It's so active. Oh, it has started manifesting, showing wonders as it did in the land of Ephesus in the scripture. So the prison officer did not object to your request? Not at all. It was so amazing, Pastor. They were even asking us when we are going to come back again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. And then next week we shall be the turn of the Marybeth. Amen. We are going to visit the whole of Marybeth's homes in this city. Amen. Do that. It's so important. Yes. It's very important. Yes. I think we need to thank the Lord for this. Thank you. I'm going for um, a women's meeting at the church. Yes, it starts by five. Five is about four thirty. That means you have thirty minutes to get ready and get there. Ah, I will take a taxi. Besides, you know, even though they say it's five, the meeting actually starts by five thirty. So I'll get there and tell. Mama, I want to ask you: Did anyone come looking for me? Yes, one um, Mrs. Obiora and the husband. And they came to see me. I think they come to your office because I told them you were at the office. No, no, not them. I mean, a Mr. Okechuku. He, he said he came here with his seat fee of 20,000. Oh! Mr. Okechuku, you should have told me that. Yes! He came. He, he, he brought the offering. <laughs> Where is it? I need to physically pray. On it. Oh, the offering? Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry, it's no more available. Wow. Well, I used it for something very important. Mama, that's someone's seed fit. It's, it's seed fit is your sweat, somebody's sweat that is cash. You bring it out. And uh, as in, you bring it out and tie it to something you want God to do for you. It's, it's in. They don't touch that kind of money. They don't eat. Wow, I, some, I didn't know the kind of money that comes from sweat. One, I didn't know. But hard work, as in the money oh. you want God to do. You are taking something that is of, you know, of, of importance to you and giving to God in return for, for, for blessing. Wow. But I use it for something very important. That wasn't if I, if I tell you what I use it for, you will thank God that I used it. You know, there's this woman I've been going. She came here and insulted me. Abused her properly. She called me all kinds of names. I wanted to fight her. But somebody advised me that her son is a criminal. And I said, instead of the son coming to kill me, and then you people spending a lot of money to bury me, let me just carry this offering money and give to her. But don't worry. When I make profit, I will pay back. Mama, don't you be Christian. Yes, now. You should not be telling lies. But I'm not lying now. I said I'll give you back the money. Okay, you want to pay on the money. You so why you wrong? Why don't you pay on the money spiritually? Wherever it is, when it eventually comes, it will do what it, it, it's meant to, to do now. I need to physically hold the money and pray over it. Agatha, you are a spiritual woman. Close your eyes. Imagine the money in your palms spiritually. And spiritually, Pray over it, cover it spiritually, and the blessings will go back to Mr. Kichu that sent in the money. Agatha, I will be late for the seat. You could get me my handbag, the one with the gold watch. Come by, look at it. Eh? I need to look good going to church. Why are you staring at me like that? Make me feel me, Bubiko. It's a spiritual thing. Does my scarf look good? Very good. Does it fit? And the lipstick or match? You see, if Christianity is a judge, like men who say comes, one would see both of you as two Christians. But our Lord Jesus Christ made it clear in the scripture that they that must worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth. But you are neither doing that. You are hypocrites. 
you wash the outer part of the cup and leave the inside dirty. How could both of you? How could both of you who are not yet married, who have not been wedded in this church, live in the same place, in the same house? Why you go on fornicating, moving from hotel to hotel? See, see, even as you sit before me now, you are so stinking that you are, you are stinking before me because of your unrighteous state. Pastor, I am very sorry. I don't know what the problem is. I, I still fall back into the same temptation. Please, I'm sorry. It's not about being sorry. It's not about telling me that you are sorry. It's about going down your knees before your Almighty God in your closet and talking to Him to forgive you, to wash your sins away. It's about restitution. Look at you. Look at you. A Christian who has so much exercise in his faith to the extent that you took the idol of your father, you burnt it and made the Edens to be unhappy with you. You are exposing your life. You are making yourself an easy prey to them. And let me tell you this. If I get this report again about you, I will suspend you from this church. I will not let you dead the image of this holy temple. this because the pastor embarrassing me before my girlfriend oh and this is the way to help with him at his church he's not gonna see me here again i swear to god what rubbish is this man no way There's something I want us to discuss. What could that be? Come on, it's late. Can't you? I'm already in bed. Can't we just discuss tomorrow morning? Huh? No, please. It's something that needs urgent attention. U urgent attention? Yes, it needs prompt attention because tomorrow might be too late. What could that be? Okay, go on, I'm listening. I'm sorry to have disturbed your sleep, but I have no other option than to wake you up. Because my mind has not been at rest since after the pastor spoke with us. I suggest we should confess our sins and ask God to forgive us. Because it's clearly against the will of God that we'll have sex before getting married. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Because I want to boldly embrace the throne of grace and settle the matter straight with God. And I want you to please do the same with me. Rosalind, are you done preaching? Huh? See, if I had known that this is the rubbish you call me this late hour to tell me, I wouldn't have picked your call. Okay, you know what? Just go ahead. Since you have decided not to do what I say, it's now what your pastor said. Go ahead. 
But don't call my line again. Don't call this number again. You can go ahead and live your life the way you want it. It's none of my business. Do you understand? No, wait, please, wait. Hello? Hello? that I've sinned against you. But I've come with a broken and a repentant heart, like the prodigal son. Please do not reject me, O Lord. Renew a loyal spirit within me, and do not take your presence away from me, God, nor let your Holy Spirit away from me. Blot out the stains of my sins, and wash me clean from the guilt of my fornication. Restore to me, O oh God, the joy of your salvation, and make me willing to obey you all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. When did he die? He was groaning and reeling in pain throughout the night. Then this morning, before we could help him, he was gone. He was dead. Mm. Yes. No! I'm No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, what you think? Oh, not yes, in a naya barrage. Oh, not yes, in a naya barrage. Oh, not you, no new puya barrage. Oh, not you, man, and more guacalo. Oh, not you is like the stubborn grasshopper that wouldn't listen but ended its. Errant adventure in the stomach of a bird. Madonna Mwende Mwakananya. He poked his fingers into the eyes of the gods when he threw his late father's medicine bag into the fire. Even Nanuani Wefu Kamata Napote Nilanya. Onochie deliberately incurred the wrath of the gods, and the gods struck him down. Onochie, 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 man, hi, 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 Ben, 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 me, Onochie, can I lost my son? If anybody had told me this was how on a chair would end his life, I wouldn't have believed the person. No, I still cannot understand why, why such a fate befell him. Even if he should die, he wouldn't have died like this. Why that? Why? I'm not here. Why? Hey, man! I understand the pain and grief in your heart, mm. but please, dear, take heart and don't allow yourself to be wear down with shame. I am 
really, really worried, is it? Does it mean there is nothing we can start doing while waiting for everybody to return? Can't we even arrange for the digging of the grave? Can't we? No, stop that. No, no, no. Eh? No, we cannot do anything until he returns. We must hear from the gods first before we do anything. Exactly. Eh? We must hear from the gods. It is very necessary. Is it? Very. Even you? You're in support of this? Yes. I know what I'm saying, what I'm saying now. I'm about to hear me, you don't hear me to go. Okay. Let's, Let's wait for the gods now. Let's be patient. That's it. Okay. Brother, patience. You want to go in here, As a mom, I am in shock. The entire community is in shock. Because such has not happened in a long while. For somebody to die in our community and instantly got swollen. As a more, uh, as a more, it's been long such happened. The gods always strike to avenge. Some elders we are here to report the matter of his sacrilegious acts in the community. And I told them, the ghost will always revenge the culprit with death and swelling. It has happened. I said it. As I was told so, one elder that I'm very close to also told me that you said it. No, it's not in doubt. You know, that's why they sent me at least to avert any danger that might be on the way. As I what do we do? Help us, please. Did the church people take the body? No, they did not. They said it's been long he left them. So they, they didn't come. <laughs> that makes it easier. I would have cautioned against the church touching the cops. The cops should be brought to the shrine. For rituals and sacrifices to the gods before the corpse will be taken to the evil forest there it will be thrown into just like that yes that is the custom if the body is buried in the bowel of the earth the entire family will be wiped out <laughs> Let me go and tell them what you said, please. I beg to take my leave. I want a monor. The police. You know that. Huh? Me can you just take this up and lose you? I'm again. I'm a nene. Huh? The job I go man is very JD. Me can you just kiss him? Me can you just wear bunny? Huh? Okay, Udaja, you came with your kinsman. Has anyone died in your community? As a more, nobody has died. We are having problem with one of our kinsmen, who recently has joined the church people and requested of us as a matter of urgency to come and remove the refugees and images of the ghosts of our forefather domiciled in his house for ages. Yes. Hmm. Uskenerian kakujokan are you then? Pa! Allo! Omeleme? That's an abomination. Who is he? He's Anoka, the son of Ike Diora, Obidibo. Ike Diora. 
Ikediora. Ikediora will be the bo. The chief priest of Ebuno Bade. Uh. That died many years ago. Wham. Oh. Noka is his first son. He was supposed to inherit the chief priesthood from his father. But was banned by the custom because he wasn't present to perform the necessary rituals as the first son during the father's burial. Because of that, the priesthood was transferred to the son of his late uncle. But custom still demands that those objects through which we offer yearly sacrifice to our gods should remain in his house. The house he inherited from his ancestors, Obidibo. Yes. Where was Anoka when his father was buried? As a mom, he had a serious accident and was hospitalized. We all thought he would die, but he survived it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He abandoned the gods that saved him with disdain and profanity. Has he gone insane? No, the more that I don't know. Nobody can tell. Hey, gentlemen. Hmm? So, what do you people want the gods to do for you? Is him. We want him to have a change of mind and allow those objects to remain where they are kept. We want him to learn like all the Christians who are living with us, who are leaders in their various churches, mm -hmm. and yet do not despise our customs and traditions, but remain supportive to salvage it from extinction. There's the more. That is the first step. Yes. But if he remains adamant, we will have no other choice than to let the gods unleash their anger on him. Ah. Mm. Yes. When next are you going to meet with him? Um, uh, on the next Komake uh, day. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Quand Madonna, Chelichi Akamba. Madonna, I'm going to give you people a substance. You will go home. Mix the substance with water. Wash everything you are going to eat or drink, including the cola nut, with it. Call his name seven times during this process. Make sure he eats or drinks from whatever you people are going to eat or drink there that was washed with that same water. Once that is done, he will always listen to you people. He will always consent to whatever you say. Huh? Okay. But Ezemu, Ezemu, don't you think it will affect us when we eat or drink from you? Ezemo, 
Have it. Come this way. Drop that. Drop the walking stick. Have it. Make sure. No other eye behold it. Today we are going to conclude on um, the topic on the Holy Spirit and um, how He helps us in certain areas of our lives. First of all, let's look at Romans 8, 20, 20, yes, Romans 8, 26 to 27. When the Bible says, that likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercessions for us according to the will of God. So what this portion of the, of the Bible is trying to tell us is that when we want to pray for some things in our lives and we want to pray amidst the Holy Spirit comes to help us with our intercession by groanings, words we cannot express, words we can our minds cannot fathom, but our spirit man, because we are connected to heaven, understands it. He causes us to pray, not amiss, but to pray according to the will of God. So that's the first one. So the second one, what the Holy Spirit does is that He helps to renew our minds. He helps us to do that's will in heaven here on earth. You know the the um, the, the prayer that says, "Let your will yeah, be done." Yes, here on earth. So it will cause heaven to be interpreted interpreted here on earth. So the Holy Spirit will help us renew our minds and help us to pray according to the will of God. The third one is that when we now decide to pray in our understanding, the Holy Spirit puts the right words in us so that we do not utter words that will not, you know, be according to God's will. So He puts the right words in our mind. That's why you find out that when people pray, they, after the groaning and the speaking in, in different tongues, when they speak, like, like when the pastors are praying, they pray and they hit the nail on the head. That's when the Holy Spirit puts the right words in our mouth to pray. So I'm going to give you two portions of the Bible you read and understand. And when next we meet, I will teach you. <laughs> I'm sounding like a teacher. <laughs> so when next we meet, we will now discuss the next lesson. So it is um, Ephesians 4, 23 and Romans 12, verse 2. Just open it and fold it. Ephesians 4, 23 and Romans 12 verse 2. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. I told you people. I told you that all she would do is shout and keep quiet. And that was exactly what she did. <laughs> then she tried to control me. She said I should bring out the money. She will pray over it. After praying over it, she will hand the money over to me. <laughs> Man, I trust your mother. I just told her the money has traveled. Oga will find. I trust you. I know there's no way she's going to win the argument. I can she win the argument? But Yapadio, I think we need to form a prayer group. Yes. Because Akata and Anoka, your father, have already formed one. Yes, Mama. Three of us are equal to the past. Henceforth, we shall all be praying as a group. Yes, sir. It's very important. Do you know, as I was coming out, I saw her with a Bible sneaking into your father's room for fellowship and prayers. So one of them, it is better we start our own thing. You know? Mama, it's very important too. We need to come together so that anytime they pray back prayer against us, we will respond back with it. Are you telling me? When we form our crew, once they fire us, we fire back. We return the fire. Yes, ma'am. Pia. You got to go. 
Asa nukba nukba kwa kuna hati chibi ye Iti jen tike na eso ezea nana nini Ha? Nko eme towe li siye bulu Ome gwenu Ome rango Lift this body I know is that they must come to a conclusion today at the end of their deliberation. Hey, Mama, hmm? why must Anoka insist that those things be removed? Are they blocking his passage? Hey, Nena, Nena, Anoka is the one who wears the shoe and he knows where it pinches. Anoka is now a born again. He's now a new man in Christ. There is no way he would allow those fetish objects in his house. I don't know, man. Well, they said those things have been there since ages. Anika should listen to reason and stop being obstinate. It won't cost him anything to allow those things remain where they, they were kept. Nana. Nana. Getting kidding me, Mr. Gemara can't live in Again, you, eh? you are a Christian and you should behave like one. We don't have anything in common with those fetish objects. I know you are a meko. We have seen it. It is the king's collar. It remains in his hands. Um, you can go ahead and bless the collar. Since you people insist, I will oblige you. <clears throat> but you will permit me to address the collar in the language collar understands. Collar does not understand the English. <laughs> In the bay, <coughs> I had no. It's an I had in the kitchen. It's your have work, sir. No million to ask, no more can do why. Um, as no one told you what I'm going to be them, them, my good agent, I'm a catcher. Oh, yes, no one who I have one, sir. Um, I am more sure I can more as well. Um, a boy, a bellow, a bellow. Guess when he be a bellow. Why, 
But in other words, what I'm trying to say is that you have to be born of the Spirit to be a Christian. And to live as a Christian, you have to be led by the Spirit of God continually. It has to be part of you, daily living. You breathe the Word of God, you speak the Word of God, you walk in the will of God. That is the only way you can live a fruitful life. This lesson concludes our lesson on the Holy Spirit, but it doesn't mean we cannot revisit it again. As the Spirit needs, we will do that. But I also want to remind you, Papa, tomorrow starts our prayer and fasting that will commence next tomorrow. Okay, uh, but, Don't forget. Uh... I will not, but the problem is that uh, I'll be meeting with the elders next tomorrow now. Meeting with the elders that next tomorrow does not mean it will disturb you or stop you from doing your doing the prayer and fasting. It is between you, me and God. Okay, no problem. Uh, nobody will force anything on me. You can't force anything on you. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. 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 Feel like taking anything. Elders, Anoka said you will not eat the cola nut. Anoka, is there anything the matter? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I'm okay. Why then do you refuse to eat the cola? Because I don't want. I don't want it. I'm okay. Hmm. Anoka, I hope you did not come here to embarrass. Everybody, eh? That I, uh, I don't want to eat the cola cannot be seen as an embarrassment. Mazianuka, such attitude is a disrespect to the elders. Yes. And can be considered as an embarrassment. If you say you won't eat the cola, must you behave like this? I said no, I don't need the cola. Is there anything wrong with it? But well, that is a confirmation that you came here to embarrass everybody. That is not an embarrassment. In fact, I am beginning to suspect that there is something in it than a mere hospitality of serving cola not to a guest. This, mm -hmm. this will not bring quarrel, eh? If Anoka says she's not eating cola. Anoka, you said you are not eating the cola. Yes, I don't want it. Fine and good. There's no problem. Uh, let us concentrate on why we are here. Uh -huh. 